Live from Azure, Kentucky, this is Jamin Jones Wrestling News. Here's your news for Wednesday, August 15, 2018. Triple H took part in a conference call to promote NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 4. Here are a few highlights courtesy of ProWrestlingSheet.com. Triple H says when Alistair's injury occurred, everything went back on the table in regards to shifting the card. At the end of the day, however, it made sense to go with a singles match for Ciampa and Gargano. Adding anyone else in there would have been a third wheel without a story. On the topic of NXT moving to Fox Sports 1, Triple H said, Time will tell, time will see, who knows, and I would never want to say never. On the topic of Neville's whereabouts, Triple H commented by saying, I'm not 100% positive, I would need to go back and look into that. To me, one of the most talented guys in the world, and time will see where that ends up. Triple H says last year, WWE chose to batch release the Mae Young Classic, and even though it did well in the long run, they didn't see results immediately. That's why they chose to release it this year the way they put out the Cruiserweight Classic. And Triple H said once October 2019 gets closer, they'll have more conversations about a potential move to Fox Sports 1. PWIinsider.com reports that WWE has hired James Long, the former head coordinating producer and video editor for Impact Wrestling. Long has reportedly been hired specifically for the NXT brand. Long was part of Impact Wrestling since 2014 and worked on the Broken Universe content with Jeremy Borash. As previously noted, Jeff Jarrett filed a copyright infringement lawsuit against Anthem Sports and Entertainment Corp and its subsidiary, Anthem Wrestling Exhibitions, LLC. Since the news broke, Impact Wrestling has pulled four Global Force Wrestling branded DVDs for sale from the promotion's website. Jarrett's lawyer, Samuel F. Miller, issued the following statement regarding the case. Mr. Jarrett does not have a comment on this case, but we look forward to our day in court before the jury. Sin Cara revealed on Twitter that he had knee surgery from Dr. Jeffrey Dugas in Birmingham, Alabama. Wish a speedy recovery to Sin Cara. Prayers and good vibes going out to him. Can't wait to see him back in the ring soon. In an interview with TVInsider.com, NXT star Ricochet commented on being able to keep his name in the WWE. Ricochet said, It was cool because the last 15 years of my life has been about trying to build up a name. When I got to WWE, there was some rumblings about changing it. I was okay with that because it has worked in the past. And I had a few choices lined up. But when they said I was able to keep it, it meant the world to me because it was definitely a name I put my blood, sweat, and tears in building. I built my own name. All the hard work built up to this. Thanks to Asuka Number 1 for passing along the following regarding AJ Styles. At 281 days, his reign as WWE Champion has surpassed JBL's, meaning that AJ is the longest reigning world champion to be exclusive to SmackDown. Big congratulations there to the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Northeast Wrestling announced on Facebook that Rey Mysterio has been pulled from the event due to his upcoming contractual situation with WWE. Northeast Wrestling wrote on Facebook, Unfortunately, due to his upcoming contractual situation with WWE, Rey Mysterio is unable to appear on August 24th. If you purchase Rey Mysterio pre-ordered meet and greet items, they will be refunded, or can be used towards other superstars. In an interview with Yahoo Sports, Roman Reigns commented on the fans that boo him by saying, I think they're like closet lovers, to be honest. You can say whatever you want, but it's how you say it that matters. The way they deliver it, they're more connected to me than their so-called favorites. For me to be able to pull on whatever string I pull on, it just goes to show there's a deep rooting there. Roman Reigns continued on by saying, The crowd reaction doesn't really matter to me. As long as they're really loud, that's all I really care about. There could be certain moments where they try to hijack shows and all of that, but by the end of the match, they're standing up so I've been blessed. I really do think that if they love to hate you, they still love you. Glenn Kane Jacobs recently did an interview with former WWE slash Impact star Tyrus for the Fox News Rundown podcast, and here are a few highlights from his interview. On WWE talent being referred to as superstars instead of wrestlers, Kane said, I remember Stephanie McMahon once saying there's a reason why we're not called wrestlers. We're called superstars because there's so much more that we do. 
Even within our WWE careers, all the things that we're asked to do, our promotion, dealing with the media, all of that stuff is more than just a guy or gal in the ring for 10 minutes a night putting on a show. And on if he'll still wrestle while serving his tenure as mayor, Kane said, basically if I do anything, I'll just do some special events. But WWE has been a part of my life for over 20 years. I am very proud of my career. I'm very proud of working for the company. I'm proud of people like you, Tyrus. I'm proud of so many of my friends and colleagues. Thanks to WrestlingInc.com for the quotes. And finally, here on Jamin John's Wrestling News, the following press release was sent out today. USA picks up 14 more episodes of Miz and Mrs. A docuseries following the WWE power couple The Miz and Maurice was USA's top reality series premiere since 2011. The USA Network has ordered additional episodes of freshman series Miz and Mrs., commissioning 14 half-hour episodes to air in 2019. Produced by WWE and Bruna Murray Productions and starring Murray WWE superstars Mike the Miz Mizanin and Maurice Mizanin, Miz and Mrs. first six episodes are currently airing Tuesdays at 10, 9 central. The additional back half order announcement was made last night on SmackDown Live. Following the humorous and hectic personal lives of the larger-than-life WWE superstars, Miz and Mrs. scored big as USA's top unscripted launch in more than seven years, averaging 1.7 million viewers during the first three premiere episodes. One word about the renewal. Awesome! Said the Miz. Thanks to all the WWE fans out there who wanted a window to our crazy lives, added Maurice. Be careful what you wish for. Miz and Mrs. gives fans an unfiltered look at the power couple's lives as they adapt to becoming first-time parents while juggling their fast-paced lifestyle. A cross-country move from Los Angeles to Austin and the intense demands of their WWE schedule. From baby first aid classes and pregnancy photo shoots to big showdowns at WrestleMania, Miz and Mrs. proves that the outrageous in-ring personalities of the Miz and Maurice are no act. Produced by WWE and Bunham Murray Productions, Miz and Mrs. complements USA's WWE programming, which includes five hours of live programming each week, 52 weeks a year, with Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live. Gil Goldenshine, Franz Farsham Shazan, and Russell J. serve as executive producers for Bunham Murray Productions, and Kevin Dunn serves as executive producer for WWE. The Miz and Maurice are also executive producers. Big congratulations out there to the Miz and Maurice for the renewal of Ms. and Mrs. I actually seen them this morning on the Today Show, and they done a awesome! job on the Today Show. I love using that little sound bite right there. That is your news for Wednesday, August 15th, 2018. Check back here tomorrow for another Jamin' John's Wrestling News Flash Briefing on Amazon Alexa devices. Big shout out to everybody listening to this on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Stewie Family is the name. Follow me on Twitter at John Caldwell, J-O-N-C-O-L-W-E-L-L. Follow me on Instagram, the Jam and John. If you'd like to sponsor Jam and John's Wrestling News or you're a wrestling promotion wanting to get your next big event out through the awesome power of Amazon Alexa, you can email me, jzcaldwell at gmail.com. That's J-Z-C-O-L-W-E-L-L at gmail.com. Big shout out to Ryan Hurdle for subscribing to my Patreon. You too can subscribe to me by going to patreon.com slash John. I have free packages on there ranging from free to $7. Not a whole lot of money. I would really appreciate it if you supported me a little bit financially. Once again, that's patreon.com slash John. This is Jamin' John saying thanks, goodbye, and I'll see you tomorrow.